Hey guys! I've done one or two videos before, two videos before, about nail polish and about how I like to paint my nails. And I think in both of those I mentioned that I have a favorite nail polish brand. Uh, it's these guys, my Julep polishes. So I figured that if any of you like aren't familiar with the Julep brand or the Julep boxes, that I would go ahead and just do a video about uh, the brand and about how they sell their products and what I like about them and stuff. Um, I really do, like it's my favorite brand just because it works so well on me. I consistently get a week's wear out of them um, without like chipping or really any any major wear and I just really appreciate that. Um, I don't buy a lot of nail polish anymore, like I don't go to the store and buy it um, or like go shopping for it when I'm at Target or the drugstore or whatever. Um, I mostly just buy these because it comes, you know, once a month I get the chance, but I also get the chance to just skip. If I don't want that month, then I don't have to pay a penalty at all, which I really appreciate, because um, it's really the the one thing about a subscription box <laughs> that I don't like is having to take it every month, even if you don't need it. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you my whole collection, uh, what it looks like, what they all are, and what I like about it. <laughs> You'll have seen this in my desk tour video from a couple weeks back. This is my nail polish rack, uh, and it's got every julep polish that I own, plus a couple others. Um, so I'm going to go through, for those of you who are interested, and just show you each bottle individually real quick. Alright, we're going to go through these as quickly as we can. Cam. Hannah. Mia. Kendra. Becca. Casey. Julianne. Ginny, Millie, Maylee, Oscar, Tony, Alice, Ming, Jules, Mariolis, Lindsay, Sasha, Carolyn, Ingrid, Rose, Poppy, Tiffany, Lori with an O. This is the one I'm wearing right now. Yee Yee. Lori with an AU. Hannah with one N and no H. Christiana with a J. Jillian. Sammy. Allison. Noel. Shannon. Rosalyn. Sigourney. This one's a textured polish. Then a couple top coats. This one's called Anna, and it's, it advertises as a spray paint top coat. It's got these jagged white glitter pieces in it. This one's called Melody. Don't ask me why this is a gimmick, but you're supposed to shake it before you use it because the glitter settles. And finally, Bjork. Uh, this one is a sort of color shifting top coat. Uh, it's kind of a little bit hollow or color shifting when you put it on top of other colors. So as you see, they have some pretty creative names. Uh, the more creative the name or unique the spelling, um, the newer the polish tends to be, because a lot of the basic everyday names were taken up early on. Uh, but wait, there's more! They don't just sell nail polish, they've got a lot of makeup products too, which at first I wasn't like all about, but um, as I've started to get a couple of them and use them, I've become more and more of a fan, and there's several of them that um, I use pretty regularly or almost every day or whenever I put on makeup. So I'm um, starting with, this is a um, cleansing oil. They have a lot of like Korean beauty products, you know, like those things that are a little bit trendy. And you could probably find this cheaper um, somewhere else, but I would never have tried it if it wasn't in, like included in a box. Um, and I really love it. You can see I've used, I don't know if you can see, I've used about half of it. Um, and then I use this with these, uh, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but konjac sponges or cognac, I don't know, with a K and a J. Um, it's just sort of a little bit of a um, exfoliating sponge and it works really well. And I love this because it's like not, it doesn't dry out your skin. So I use this on my face. Um, there's a couple makeup brushes that I use from them. This one is a an eyeshadow blending brush. I use this for my... Um, like brow bone color. I think I you'll have seen these actually in my get ready with me video that I did a ways a, t a while back. Uh, this one is actually marketed as a bronzer brush but I use it for my powder foundation because I don't know how to use bronzer. I never have. 
see i've got a um nail oil pen i keep this in my purse it's pretty nice like it it dries really instantly um like it it i don't know rubs in so that it doesn't feel greasy at all but because of that i can never really tell if it's working so i keep it because it's handy um I don't know if I would necessarily recommend it over any other cuticle oil. Um, I'd probably say stick with your um, Burt's Bees Lemon Butter, actually. But anyway, this is called the Mighty Nail and Cuticle Serum, and it is great because it's not greasy at all, and it's handy to keep in your purse. This is uh, new to me. It's called the Cushing Complexion uh, Concealer. And so it's got this, like, cushy applicator here. You can see, you know, that's what it looks like. I am the color ivory. Of course, I'm always ivory. I'm Snow White. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to love this. It's in one of the newer products, but um, I really do. Like, it's creamy and it blends in really well. It doesn't cake on, but it still has pretty good coverage for a concealer. So I'm really liking this. I've got a couple of eyeshadows. I think I have another one. I have a few others of theirs that I don't use as often. These are the ones that I use every single day that you'll have seen in my Get Ready With Me video. Uh, these two are called Tap and Ballet. I'm not sure which one is which, but um, hi there. <laughs> this one is um, the color that I use for my crease. And this is the color that I use for my brow bone. And then this duo is called Cinnamon and Spice. And I use one or the other of these colors for my uh, my lid. And I like them a lot. Like these are my two favorite eyeshadow colors anyway. And it was just lucky that I was able to get like the four colors that I really love to use all the time in just two uh, palettes. So it's pretty compact. I just carry this with me when I'm traveling or keep these on my um, nightstand when I'm doing my makeup every day. I have a couple lip products, but the one I've liked the best is this called, it's, it's, it's called It's Balm Lip Crayon, which is a weird name, but this color is called Almond Nude Cream. And it's a sort of kind of a neutral brown color. But you'll see that the inside here is like just a, a balm and the outside is a lip color. So it's moisturizing and I think it's a nice neutral color that I like to carry around with me in my purse because it's easy to apply and uh, it pretty much goes with anything. And the makeup product that I really love from Julep are their eyebrow, or sorry, their eyeliner pencils. Um, they've kind of changed the format a little bit over the years. Uh, they used to be called gel eye glider and they came black like this with the color they were on the tip. Um, this one is called Smoky Taupe Shimmer. It's, uh, it matches really well with one of those eyeshadows. And this one is called Graphite Shimmer. So it's like a gray, which is a nice alternative to like a black eyeliner if you don't want to go all crazy like that and it's got a little bit of shimmer as well this one is called radiant amethyst it is purple and that's when i'm looking for a fun time this one is called olive and it is olive green which is like one of my favorite colors it's not too bright of like or saturated of like a color so it goes pretty well. I usually only wear it when I'm wearing something that's that color as well to sort of bring it out. But it's a favorite color just generally. And then they changed the um, packaging a little bit. And so they're not called gel eyeliners anymore. They're called when pencil met gel. I don't know. Um, but it's the same exact thing. This one is called clay. It's the same idea as like this taupe one, but it's uh, matte. It's a little bit grayer. It's more of like a taupe. I don't know. <laughs> is it more taupe than the taupe? But I like that one a lot too. And then I also have a uh, eye, eyeliner pencil from Julep. And this one's really handy for travel, um, but it's like the only one I pretty much use. And you empty it like that, the bottom comes off. And I'm not gonna do that because it'll get everywhere because I do have shavings in there. Um, but it's just, you know, it's just an eyeliner pencil, but I find it handy. 
And that's, uh, I have a couple other makeup things from them, but I don't use them as often, and so I'm not going to bother pulling them out or going to find them. Um, but those are the ones that I really like and would recommend. And so this is what the box looks like when it comes to you every month. Um, on the 20th, the collection is like released and you have to go and log into your account. And then you can choose whether you want to just go with what they've already picked out for you or whether you want to customize it or pick a different box completely. You can basically get exactly what you want now um, for the same price. Um, or you can decide just to skip. And then you have from the 20th to the 24th of every month to um, decide whether you want to take your box or not. And then they ship it out, uh, I believe on the, the 27th, something like that, and it comes to you early in the next month. So this is the March collection. It came um, a couple days ago, and I've been holding on to it so you can see. Um, this is like their little slogan. If you can put it on, you can pull it off. I don't know, that's cute. Um, these used to come packed with like confetti paper and it was a mess, but it was kind of cute. Now it's like more post-consumer or whatever, which is great. And then here is what we've got. This is uh, basically I picked out everything that I wanted in here. Um, see which one of these. This one is from this month's collection. It's called Franny and it's from the Boho Glam collection because it's like the different profiles and it doesn't really mean anything. Um, and so this one is a, uh, a matte. So it, like if there's a special finish, it'll actually tell you on the cap. So that makes it handy. And then you notice these caps actually just pop off like this. So this is the, the cap that goes underneath and then this is the cover and you pop it off because it's got a little swatch sticker on top so that you can, and I do this as soon as I get them, open it up and swatch it right on the cap there. So this is a shimmer, um, well I don't know, it's got kind of a little bit of micro glitter in there. It's like a chocolate brown and it's a matte finish. So I'll let that dry. Then I also picked out this one. This is from a previous month, but I was still able to include it in this box. This one is called Florentina from the Classic with a Twist collection or profile. And it's this like fire red. It's kind of got a little bit of a, um, just a very slight shift from sort of an orange to a red. And I'm gonna swatch that as well. This one is not matte. This one's got a nice gloss to it. And it also has some sort of a shimmer Oh, I'm going to have to fix that brush later, trim it a little bit. It's a bit of a mess, the brush. That's fine, just for the swatch. It's got sort of a coppery color to it. It's pretty. I'm going to have to find room for these up on my rack. Um, finally, I've got a, a lip crayon balm thing, like the one that I have that I've been carrying around in my purse, that sort of nude brown color. This one is called Blossom Pink Creme. It's, I thought I would try something a bit different. This one is sort of a light pink color. And you see it's got that balm part in the middle and then the color on the outside. So like this is the balm here that didn't have color in it. And that's what that looks like. Looking forward to trying that. And then there's just this little, let's see it says, hooray, there's a free gift inside this Maven box. That's not true. <laughs> but if you do pick three add-ons, they include a, a free gift. I did not do that, but they tossed in this card anyway accidentally. That's fine. <laughs> so yeah, that's all you get. Um, sometimes they'll throw in like a little treat or something or like a card with a quote on it. Um, I've gotten, you know, bits of candy, stuff like that. Anything from like Necco wafers to, you know, <laughs> like things that are actually tasty. Uh, anything in between. And then you just, it comes in this cute little box. So, like I said, this is kind of like the only nail polish I end up buying nowadays. Um, though I do need to go buy more gel polish because I need to, to up that collection now. But um, 
I don't really get out and like go shopping for nail polish in the store very much. So I really enjoy just this opportunity to buy a couple of really good quality polishes every month or so. I usually only take about maybe four boxes a year. Um, the rest I just skip and I love that you can skip with no penalty any month you want. So that's the only reason that I stick around. It's like the only subscription box. No, I have Dollar Shave Club too, <laughs> but this is the only subscription box really that I, uh, for definitely the only beauty one that I have. And uh, yeah, I really like it. So there you have it, my julep collection and all of it. Um, I've gotten my mom into these now and like, she also finds that it works really well on her. Um, hi mom. <laughs> so like, it's not just me, I just think they are really decent polishes and I like, I'm not selling, I don't work for them, I'm not getting paid by them to say this, but that being said, I do have a promo code or a, a, a link below that if you follow that link and if you're interested in signing up, I'm not trying to sell it, but if you were interested in selling up, you could use that link and I would get a little bit of a kickback on my account. It's not much. It's just there in case you want it. No pressure. I don't want to sell stuff to you <laughs> um, unless they're paying me to do it. Hint, hint. Anyway, um, that's just, that's the video for today, for this weekend, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested. I don't make a lot of beauty stuff, but I could if there was enough demand. So comment below, um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.